Hey everyone, welcome back to Barnal Bloom. Hope you are all doing good. Uh, so today's video is going to be an organizing video rather than a divide by one. So let's get started. So this is my wardrobe, and as you can see, it's pathetic condition. Nothing is in its place, and I was thinking of organizing it for so many days, but could not manage time. So today I have decided that I have to do it, and and thought कि उन्हें ये process आपके साथ भी share किया जाए. So here are all my sarees. I hang some of them from the hanger, and in the lower portion, I have stacked them haphazardly. So to arrange them neatly, I have purchased some organizers from Amazon. Some for my sarees, and some for my other clothes. Want to get any of these organizers? You can comment down below, or I will link them in the description box for your reference. Now let's get started with the organizing part. Okay, I will cater one portion at a time, and then we will deal with the rest of the wardrobe. So first, I am removing all my sarees. I keep all the sarees and my shawls in this compartment. So first, I am removing them one by one. So here's the pile of sarees I have got and now I'll be categorizing them based on their fabric like silk and hand looms and that and one more thing to must do when you are organizing your sarees uh, that you have to unfold and fold it again if you are not wearing them for a long time i don't wear all the sarees all the time so maybe they are uh, in the pile for almost 2 years and for the very reason i am going through this pain of unfolding and folding them again here i have folded everything neatly and uh, separated them according to the fabric the silk ones here and next to it these are the all the tat ones and here are the hand loom ones the silk hand loom ones these are also silk hand looms and uh, next these are some random sarees like chiffon and some silk sarees and here are all my cotton sarees now let's put them in the organizer one by one Thank you. 
how it's looking after organizing and, and as you can see these organizers have this clear portion from where you can see your sarees and pull out the one you want to wear so yeah before putting everything inside i am cleaning this area and now i will just stack them one top of another like this here at the very bottom i have kept all my cotton sarees then my handlooms and on top i have kept all my silk sarees so after keeping all my sari organizers i have uh, got some space on top of it so i'll be arranging all my shawls here This is how this compartment is looking after organizing all my sarees and shawls. Now we will arrange the upper compartment where I keep all my blouses and petticoats. First I am separating my uh, all my padded blouses and non padded blouses and I am keeping all my non padded blouses in this blouse organizer and I will put my padded blouses in uh, such square boxes. Actually, I don't know a better way to store the padded blouses. If you know any better way, please know, let me know in the comment section. I will really appreciate it. heading to this compartment i keep all my jeans tops and my regular silver kameez uh, here so again i have separated everything according to my preference and i am keeping all my jeans in one organizer and then tops and t-shirts in another organizer and some of my traditional dresses in another organizer as you can see here And here how I keep my regular wear, uh, the silver kameez set. I always keep my silver like this in between my kameez. And I always try to keep them ironed and this way they don't occupy too much space. Here are some of my leggings and this is how I am folding them. And I will keep them together in this basket. Here is another small organizer where I am keeping all my bales. These are my short bales and some of my scarves and some handkerchiefs. Mm -hmm. 
and we are ready and this is how the wardrobe is looking right now now i'll keep some decor pieces on top of this uh, wardrobe to decorate this space further i am keeping a money plant here uh, but it's totally optional if you are not comfortable to keep live plants in your home you can always opt for any artificial plant wardrobe door i am hanging to embroidered hopes that i have to avoid long time ago so yeah here how this is looking after everything organizing and decorating everything so that's it about today's video uh, let me know in the comment section if you like this video and if you have any suggestions regarding organizing and uh, decorating part you can always comment down below so yeah thank you so much for staying with me and i will see you soon i will try to see you soon with another new video till then take care bye